comfortable. I sent this this image of um, you know you know using the term realistic uh, adult proportions is you know yes um, you know we're all different and things like that but there's a lot of things that we are um, the same and and when I asked in terms of like practicing um, I, I feel like and you know. I'm gonna, I'm just folding this in half. Let me um, spotlight my, my. Uh, let me spotlight mine. I can't spotlight my, oh, there we go. As far as proportions are concerned, when, when, you know, there's a, a term called like how many heads high, like, so, if you ever see like an artist, like, you know, like looking um, and measuring, like and counting, like from a, from a distance, I don't know if you've ever watched somebody like with their thumb, they go like one, two, three, like this. This is how they're measuring um, height and proportion. Um, to get a basic proportion, um, th this is a really good way to kind of know where things start and where things stop. Um, so that's why I was like, asking that if you if you wanted to practice a little bit it's helpful to know where things start and where things stop so like you know the head is definitely in one section you know your your shoulders to like the middle of your chest would be in the next section right i'm just kind of lightly sketching because i i have a you know, in this third, can, I, I hope you guys can see like the difference in color. You, yeah, you sure you can. Um, it's actually clearer on the computer um, than it is in front of me. Um, the waist would be in in this section. So, so I don't know. So here's my. We have an hour, right? And there's so the, this is. We, we could do this quickly, you know, for the, in the next 10 minutes, we can all kind of do one of these. So we learn. And then I have, I um, have a few model poses that I kind of thought that we could play with in terms of, you know, getting some, this is my way of doing some figure drawing. I have, I have both men and women, they're, they're clothed and there's my <laughs> Oh. <laughs> we're not gonna do my dog <laughs> so, oh, it's not um, you. <laughs> um there she is again i thought i had fun. oh shit okay okay um oh i did but there's dogs in the middle all right let me hear so you want to do that why don't we start with with a quick one of these so if you can if you can just measure out with your ruler seven and a half inches um and just just tick them off and you know this is really just practice and um and just get some like seven and a half lines and i'll just let me uh... oh. That's helpful. So now I put it all in an album so you don't have to. So, all right. Um, gallery view, let me see how you guys doing. All right. And there's some interesting, again, like it, what I find so fascinating that like, again, like we're all so, so different um, in terms of, but there are so many similarities um, 
I like uh, I don't know if any of you guys know any of these, um, but there is things like, you know, your face is will be the size of your hand. Um, your foot is usually the size of your, um, from your elbow to your wrist. Um, what else? Your, uh, I don't know, your elbows will always come into your waist. Your hands will always come to the top of your thighs. Nobody, you know, um, there's, there's little things like that. And again, like just to, to make us all, you know, similar, even though we're, we're all different. I kind of, I always find that really interesting. So. Um, anyway, so I'm going to, I'm going to continue uh, with this. I, I, I'm thinking that you guys at some, at this point have, we've gotten just a basic um, oval for a head, gotten a neck in there is at the halfway point. I'm doing uh, the woman. You can certainly do the man if you want to. Um, I got the waist in before I did the arms. And here you go, like, so, so this is just the shoulder, the arm, this part of the arm, again, if you break it down into sections, it's a little less intimidating, I think, right? So this part of the arm, this girl has a little bit of a, her hip is higher here. I don't know if you guys can notice that, but that's, so the the fourth session section has uh, her hip. Which then the fourth section will have more of her forearm to her wrist, if you guys can notice that. And there's something about, you know, just, you know, copying this, that's not, that's just, again, you helps with learning a get, you know, proportion of a human figure. And then you can kind of, now we can apply what we're learning here to my, um, my copied figures. Now, a lot of my, my personal study is in, um, fashion drawing. So these are very um, short to me because <laughs> usually fashion drawing is, is elongated. But I'm just, I'm just following the, I feel like I'm, oh, I'm wrong. That just looks really short. There's a reason for that. There you go, that looks better. All right, thighs. And the next section will be the knees. Bottom of the thighs to the top of the, and the knees. And we go into the calves, coming down a little further and then coming out to be the foot. And now you can just see like, I'm not, what kind of looks like a little bit of a, you know, 
a flipper, but I'm really just kind of just marking off the size of the shape of a foot. Nothing has to be perfect. You can see I totally, I avoid hands. Um, hey, I feel like hands and feet are pretty hard. But they definitely take some practice. But I really just wanted to get our proportions down so that in the seven and a half spaces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half, um, you have a head. The next section is neck and shoulders to um, you know the middle of her breasts. Then you have her waist in here would be like her belly button, um, her hips and her the crotch line, um, thighs, knees, knees, calves, ankles to feet. And so like when, when I, I wrote on um, last week I, or in the beginning of the week, I said, you know, just like scratch paper, scribble paper, because I do think that, you know, there's something about, it's called, we call it like gesture drawing, like getting like the figure, the movement of the figure, um, you know, is, is something that, gosh, I must've put, spent hours of my time on that and just getting, and so I tried to pick figures that had some movement, but wasn't like so super um, like crouching down and yoga poses and things like that. I didn't want to, um, I, I didn't want it. So I had, I, let me go back without my dog pictures. So this is, these are a couple, I had a man, another woman, another woman, and another man. Right. These were the poses I picked because I like their movement. Um, and I feel like we could, we could get some, some basics out of here. So before I, um, so can I go on a Nancy, little bit? Nancy, can I ask you? Yeah. Can I, can I ask, how did you search for those images? I, uh, uh, figure drawing. I Googled oh, figure okay. drawing. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and then it, it and then there was like a tab that said reference and it and it was uh and they had these these poses. And there were there were people again like they were like crouched down and one leg out and all you know very very um you know those were I would think would be more difficult and so that's why I kind of wanted to get just some basics. But if yeah, if you have interest in in figure drawing, yeah, you definitely have a away and then you just kind of figure out where things stop and where things start in relation to each other like where you know your elbows will you can always have in within the waists your hands will always be by the tops of the thighs so those are some basics um now if i were to go ahead i'm going to put these side by side i think this is the best way i can figure out how to do this i tried to split my screen um, I don't know. Uh, can you guys see her and my hands at the same time now? You yeah. guys, okay. Yes. Yes. This might just be the best way to, to do this um, for me. Did anybody, you guys were gonna say something? You might have to also see me getting emails and texts too. Okay, all right. When I'm when I look at something at a figure, um, and whenever there's any kind of life drawing, a basic sketch. Um, I'm gonna try to find a darker pencil so you guys can see. Just prop it up a little. Yeah, like, like that. that. Is that good? Okay. Can you put? And I, I'll draw right here. So you can see, you can see me. Yes, okay. perfect. So yeah. um, mm -hmm. you basically want to first start to, let me get this. 
Yeah. Uh, let me move this over. Yeah. Okay. Is that all right? I'm going to draw here. Um, get it, we're going to get her movement down first. And I want to point out something that there's something natural that happens in the skeleton that if her shoulders are going in this direction, right? Automatically her hips are gonna be going in this direction. Mm -hmm. um, um, that is just, that's natural uh, skeletal behavior unless it's like purposefully done. Her, her weight is on this leg. If her hip is high, her weight is on this side. So there's something called um, in the art um, drawing, figure drawing world is called like an S curve. Um, so if I were to start her, her sketch, you know, I'd first start with her head and then I'm going to start to look for the direction of her, like her, her neck is going in this direction. I'm going to put a line of reference going this way for her spine. Can you guys see my, yeah. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, for her shoulders, I'm sorry. I'm going to come down and get her spine. Now I'm going to tell you again, a lot of my training is fashion training. So I know I might elongate. So, um, so I, I apologize for that. So just be aware that I might get a little, heavy. but anyway, so, so her actually, did I completely, yeah. Okay. This, this hip is going in this direction. Right, so here's her shoulders, here's her hips, here's her spine, and I'm gonna come down and get her her leg basically under her head. So if you guys can see that, so this is this is where her her weight is gonna be, and that plants her on the ground, right? This is her hip, and from here, once I always and I always start like this, and this is my S. Can you guys see my S? Mm -hmm. Okay. So from here, then I will, I can start to draw her. I will get um, personal, I don't know. I don't know, I always start with the, the hips. Nancy, but you're not doing it on, on the lines. No, no, now I just, we, I didn't do, do, you mean these lines? Yeah. So no, I, re, I'm just, we did this as like a practice study. Yeah. So this way we could see where things start, stop and start. Um, so this is a learning. And then from here, because now, because this person is straight up and down, um, we could do this. I could do it this way, seven and a half, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half would be the foot. We could put a foot in here. Um, so I got, so that is seven and a half heads high. So you can always start that way is start with the head shape and then count down seven and a half. And then, you know, that like, this would be the bottom, this would be the top. But she's going to be about nine because her, My her legs are longer. Yeah. Did I make her legs too long? Let's no, 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 no. Oh. But <laughs> she is like a fashion kind of um, stance model. You, you think she is this one or mine? Both of them. Okay. Yeah, I mean, she's definitely, um, maybe. You're, so somebody just texted me that my, or wrote to me that my head is tilted. You're right. Uh, I think her head is tilted in the opposite direction. You're right. So my head should be in this direction. Thank you for pointing that out. Usually in fashion, Camille, like it's, um, they're like nine or 10 heads high. So the right. Um, all right, so let's see. So now I'm gonna get her, her arm. All right, her elbow is gonna be in with her waist. Let's get her hands in here. Her other elbow. coming in, right? That's where her waist is. This is where her elbow should be, matched up with that elbow. Okay.
I'm trying for it not to be fashion, fashion-y. Um, I'm really trying. That's definitely um, habit. And she's short for it to be fashion. Let's see, we'll get a foot in here and then this leg. Here's the knees, the knees will line up. This foot will come out this way. You can see, so I kind of also got the outside of the arm first before I filled in the inside. And I'm just blocking in things like the hands. If, unless you really want to go into the hands, I, I'm not even worrying about clothing. All right, so again, so seven and a half, top to bottom. Um, second, the second head has the chest and the, in the middle of her breasts. The third head will be her waist. The fourth head is the um, oh, lost it. hips. Sorry, somebody's calling me. We're seeing a toucan. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Surprise, that's what we're drawing next. <laughs> uh, no, I'm getting a phone call. Okay. I have two different Zoom accounts. One is the mill and one is a uh, ma'am. So I have two different animals for <laughs> ah. the, the, mill, the mill has the two cans. <laughs> so. Um, you know, I'm happy to stop with this one and go on to a, a different pose. I really, I, you know, I don't have to go into like putting clothes on her, um, but you can start to, you know, you, you can now start to add, for those of you who were in the last class, you know, the session before this in the summer, you know, we talked a little bit about the face. Right, she has you get her you can get some hair in there. Oh, these are let me see how that looks on your end. Speaker view. Yeah. Should I move on? Should I go to another pose? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm liking this. You like this one? You can continue. You yeah. know, um, I just wanted to give you, uh, you know, a good balance of of poses. Sure. Um, let's do. Let's do a man. Um, hi, Nancy, it's Jeannie. Could you, before you start drawing him, could you put in the lines um, yeah. and, it, and then draw him over the lines? Wow, sure. Where's my ruler? And he's always so good at giving me good suggestions. <laughs> Let's see, one, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Okay. Now this will defy a little bit because it's been crossed because his arms are up. Let me get my pencil sharpener. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I know you see a glare. Okay, is that better? Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Let's get his head in here. It's tilted this way. But because his head is down, his neck is kind of in there too. And let's get his arms, his spine. He definitely has a twist. Oh gosh. Sorry about that. We're trying. Uh, okay. His hips. He has a long torso, but that's it. All right, I'm just trying to get this portion. This is coming down here. one leg this is planted down 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 <clears throat> sorry I'm making a mess here Got quite a curve here that's coming down. This is what's kind of throwing me off. Kind of down. I might have to change where his head position is. It is, it's in his waist. I can see that I went too far with my elbow coming into his waist. What is this left hand doing? <laughs> this, this hand? Yeah. Just kind of, huh? Yeah, I'm just kind of, again, just in indicating it right now, and then I'll, I'll go in and I'll fix things. It's coming into his shoulders. Okay. 
sure his elbow is elbow to here. This is going to come up by his ear. Again, like you can say I'm like absolutely sketchy, you know, and scribbly and that's okay because we're, we're just trying to figure out his proportions. Uh, I think I have. I feel like this is off somehow. Like his rib cage would be in here. This is his back of his spine would come out a little bit more. Again, just indicating his hands, top of his head, his ear is here. Um, it's quite muscular. Um, yeah. Okay. This is a tough one. You guys, how are you feeling about this one? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. And a window into my daily life too. <laughs> so um, I don't know. I, I might want to just stop here with him. I mean, do you guys agree that he's a little oh you know what this leg this actually this foot goes in this direction. I don't know if you guys can see that. It goes here. Yeah, I totally uh, I fashioned down this one. Actually, that helps. Got some hand in there. Let's see, you know, you have a finger. I'll let you uh, draw him a little bit more. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna make some more lines. Sorry, 
Nancy, when you're drawing a figure with clothes, do you do it without clothes first? Yeah. Just the um, body? Yeah, you would definitely get the movement of um, the body first and, and then get the clothes. Um, mm -hmm. Is, you know, whenever I, I um, especially teaching fashion, um, mm -hmm. I definitely get the, get the movement down first. Like if I wanted to give him clothing, um, now is when I would, you know, think about where his waist would be, you know, he's wearing pants, you know, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want anyone to feel like I'm rushing you, but I was going to go to another figure. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. okay. So it's, um, it's funny because we, if we were in person, I would probably have you do um, 30 second poses where you kind of just scribble these down for 30 seconds just to get the basic movement down, like almost like a big stick figure. Um, I think like it's almost like a warm up, and and you get the the basic scribble down. It, um, as you can see, like that's kind of like the way I work anyway. Is like a, you know you get a basic scribble down until you until you work it it out. So. Um, I was going to pick. All right. Nancy, do the lines have to be a certain distance apart? I, I was doing an inch apart. Just an inch? Okay. Yeah. So whatever space it, it I need you need seven and a half spaces apart. It would be the same size of the head. So let's say I was working my paper the long way. If I was working my paper, you know, to go the long way, which is you know like I guess um, sixteen inches, and I made my head you know this big, then my all my lines would be this big. Does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. I'm choosing challenging poses. I don't know. <laughs> this is, um, but I like this. I like, you know, again, I, um, I like the S of her, of her shape. It kind of, you know, it has that S curve. So we're going to, we'll try this out um, for the next one. This is hard for me to work with this being on the left.
okay. Let's see how I do here. So let's get the, you know, scribbling in her head, her neck, you know, but the direction of her shoulders are clearly going in this way, which that makes her hips going in this direction. Um, her spine is in this direction, which then brings her foot. So here's my S. Almost more so, more dramatic is this space in here. And she's she's turned. get that dramatic back of her coming up into her shoulder blade. Now her elbow, if we imagine her elbow would be in her waist. So we kind of have to visualize that one. So in here. Second section should be the center of the breast coming down. This is coming under, if you can see like where her chin is. Let's get that in here. So here's her chin. Her shoulder is coming right up to her chin. weird <laughs> look at there again you can see you know it's just a question of just sketching this all and until it until it works you know and this is you know the point where you know a lot of people will you know be like oh i can't do this and give up but you know it's just a question of playing Go 
all come together. And then we can put the chest in. Nancy, what number of pencil are you using? I am using a 6B, so it's dark for you guys to see. Um, normally I would not be. Normally I'd be using like an HB. hand, her foot. This is weird, right? So this is looking strange in here. I'm trying to fi fix that. So Nancy, a question. Uh -huh. It looks like the foot that has the weight on it is the one that's on the seven and a half line. Yes. So that's, that's what you're always gearing toward? Yes. That's a Great. good question. Um, that's a really good question. Um, so yeah, this is definitely the, it's the high, this is the higher hip. This is clearly the foot that has her weight. Um, and she's def on the seven and a half. Cool. So she's extending this. And I think that's what's throwing me off is, is the fact that this foot is, is extended. And I didn't even, that's what is, throwing me off as I barely do this leg. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> All right. You know, I, I'm happy to make mistakes in front of you guys because, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That means we can make mistakes too. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, but I want you to, even just seeing like how I'm figuring it out and erasing and, 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 and things like that. That's, that's all part of the game, you know, or, or any process, right? We all, we all have to go through an erasing process. To, to... I erase more than I draw. <laughs> Yeah, I just lost, I just broke my pen. So, all right, she come together. And this, I'm 53. No, just dropped my pencil shop and I'm going. Yeah, so I mean, you know, there, there's a reason why figure drawing classes are, you know, models sitting for, you know, in groups of like half hour poses and um, and then they, they take a break and then they go back for another half hour, you know, and they, and, you can sit for six or, I mean, in college, I, I took 
figure drawing, it was like six hours on one pose. I mean, so there, there's a reason for it because there's a lot of working out to, to do. I don't know if you guys, how much uh, my neighbors are having their um, leaves blown. So I don't know how loud that is for you. It's pretty loud on my end. I'm just curious because we have like only, I don't know, like five minutes left. Does anybody want to like talk to me, share with me or, or have any questions or um, I can unspotlight myself here. Um, Nancy, this is Dottie. The, um, hi. Um, so what I'm finding is that there are parts of her body I can do fine and they actually look like her. And then yeah. there are other parts that really are screwed up. <laughs> I would bet there's everybody in this room would say the same exact thing, you know, and, it, and you can see that like I, you know, screwed up also. So it's really just a question of like working it out and sketching it over until until you have like a until you're happy with it. Until you get your and I liked doing it. I thought it was interesting and I liked watching you do it. So good. it was good. Good. I'm glad. You know. Can we can we put clothes on them now? Yeah, you can talk. <laughs> Absolutely. That will hide all the mistakes. There you, go. you know what, Dottie? That's a great idea. You know, now we can now we can play dress up. And, mm -hmm. <laughs> and now you have like a little paper doll. We could, <laughs> mm -hmm. we could dress up. Um, so that's actually a really fun idea. We could have some fun with that, you know. Um, and you know, they don't have to. I mean, if you well, I was thinking of um I, I was thinking of uh, like uh, Matisse and how, you know, I don't know if the, I should have probably pulled up the image of, of like the dancing figures and they're not realistic, but you know, they're human and, and they, and you, and the movement, they, it's just um, uh, beautiful. So it doesn't have to, you know, all be like super perfect. You know? Right. right. <laughs> um, and uh so I just also wanted to put out there um, for next class, well, is I think the, is the last class. And um, I, uh, and this is what I was thinking, because I know that there's a few people, there are some people who are interested in Zentangle, but then there are other people who feel like Zentangle should be a separate class, which I totally respect. So I kind of wanted almost like to, do, I, I wanted, this is what I wanted to do and I'll put it out there. I wanted to draw um, a turkey um, because I think they're quite beautiful. Um, there's so many different layers to the feathers and all that stuff. And I mean, so tell me if you, I'm hoping that that's not elementary in your mind. We're not doing a hand, <laughs> um, but you know, like the, um, the beauty of all the different layers of a, a turkey. So I wanted to kind of send that. And then after we kind of get the idea of the turkey down, then those of you who want to zentangle into it can. And those of you who want to um, go into a little bit more realistic drawing, whether or not you want to do some pointillism or do like watercolor, um, as I'm looking at some of you who are watercolorists or, um, so I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you something. I, I'm going to ask you if you can print it, that would be great because then I can help you. We can transfer it, transfer it onto your paper. And uh, that's what I wanted to work on for next week. And so we, we can all have our, uh, you know, a little bit of Thanksgiving very um, feeling. Good. <laughs> okay. That sounds good and seasonal. Yeah, I wanted to, you know, again, it's going to be a weird holiday season. So the, the most we can, you know, the best we can do. So yep. sounds great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Nancy.